and welcome back to another episode of the Ultimate Iron Man Progress Series. In the last episode, it felt like a really short episode, but we did get a lot done. We got ourselves a deconstruction, uh, which lets us get the master stash units now. We got a couple of woodcutting levels, and we got up to 96 thieving. Uh, and, oh, and we got up to 57 Slayer, actually. So, you know, we did get a lot of stuff done. Uh, we definitely want to work on a lot more today, get a lot more construction upgrades. Uh, but we're going to start where we left off, and we're going to go and do our Tears of Gothics and get some Prayer XP. I think Prayer is our lowest skill at the moment. Yeah, juicy bit of prayer XP. And now we're back in the house. We have got all of the ingredients, the materials, to make the very first pool. Uh, I think all this does is restore your spec. Obviously, nothing else has happened there. No stamina, no prayer, no nothing. So the next upgrade is the stam pool. A uh, little bit annoying that this is the second one. Staminas are obviously a lot higher of a requirement than prayer potions and super restores. Um, but we have got a team that we are going to run the Theatre of Blood with uh, and just kind of boost our way through to, yeah, to just after Bloat is the chest. Uh, so we're going to run our way through, get through Maiden, get through Bloat and get ourselves 10 Staminas. Team wasn't quite ready, so what we've done is we've taken a little detour, sold some Chaos Runes to the Tazar shop and got ourselves about 16, 17k of Tockle. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to buy our rubies from the gem store in the Tazar place, so craft them, well, cut them, uh, and hand them into the curator here because we need to hand in 250. It doesn't have to be all in one go, but we're going to slowly chip away at getting all of these boxed off here so that we can get our medallion for the house and have a dig site pendant mounted. Uh, you do need a gold leaf for this, so it's kind of expensive. But it's very worthwhile. It lets us get to Fossil Island forever. We don't want to continue making, you know, like a million dig site pendants throughout the course of this account every time we need to get to Fossil Island. So it's a no-brainer, really. It's just a bit of a pain, like a couple of hours of going to the, to the Tazar area and buying rubies. Um, but now that we've got the fire cape, this is just so nice compared to how other methods of getting it would have been like i think we would have had to rely on brimstone keys maybe because uh, i don't think we would have mined them that would have taken absolutely years to do so this is a shop down here uh, i think i've bought them out from this world but we'll have a quick look and see you can see my dog is in crossbow on the floor uh yeah so i've already bought them out from this world but this is where we buy them just over half an hour later and this is our last inventory you do have to bring one dig site pendant with you but there is our medallion. So we're going to go get our gold leaf and then we're going to pop this in the house. Here is our gold leaf. And what a scam. 200k for a portal nexus. But we'll take it, you know. We can always get money back. And here is the mounted dig site, which is juicy. Let's mark object so we can always see it. And let's go to... I think we can set it so it's one click to Fossil Island configuration fossil island so it's nice we can only go to them two at the minute because lithgren is dragon slayer two if we try this mm, have i really never used a pendant i suppose i've never actually really had one well let's go make one got all of our bits here let's make this and enchant it took us about 10 minutes to get all the parts and then if we go and get to Fossil Island, we'll use this necklace on here and that should unlock the teleport. Yeah, bind to this place. Let's go to the house and let's try this, please. That should be it. I shouldn't need to build it with a necklace uh, yet. All good to go so we can get rid we can get rid of the mold and this necklace because we'll never need a necklace again. So, quick change of pace, but we're actually going to finish off Fairy Tale Part 2. So, we've come to get our Gorax Claw. And if we quickly make this potion, 
that should be all we need to finish the quest. So let's go over to the Fairy Queen. Fairy Queen's back up and running. She's had a little dose. And we should get a little bit of Herblor XP from this, if I remember. Ooh, and an XP lump. Uh, so yeah, 3.5k Herblor XP. And I think we're going to pop this in Herblor as well. Just to polish it off to 6k Herblor XP. Very nice. But that's one that always seems to be... Like one of the last quests you do because you unlock fairy rings and then just leave for six months and just leave her in this coma there. So, yeah, glad to have that one out of the way. Uh, gonna do a little bit of boosting now just to be able to build a couple of upgrades in the house. And then we shall see about doing some more, more quests we really should have got done by this point in an account. First inventory is a dud. So let's go and restart our stats, get a couple more spices, and try this again. We're gonna we're going for the fairy ring in the house, uh, in case you haven't guessed from the inventory. But that'll be such a huge upgrade. We won't have to carry an Adi cloak around with us, uh, and we could possibly replace the graveyard teleport we've got in the house as well. Welcome to the last chance saloon. This is our last spice we've got. This is like our third inventory now. Ooh. Ooh, run, run, run. Uh, build mode. Go, 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 go. Three. Oh. There we go. Look at that. That's going to be absolutely massive for us in the future. Still waiting for our top team. Uh, so we've come over to do a little bit of Herbie Bar. Uh, because we're only two levels away from the Herblor level to actually boost to make stams. So, well, one, really. So we've come over to Herbivore just to bank some XP while we are waiting, because we'll either do one or the other. And we ended up getting ourselves a nice little treat. Which, I'd, I'm going to be honest, I expected to get it. So, have a look at this. We're a couple of messages up. Oh, it's such a cool... It's such a cool pet, man. Look at that. Back-to-back -back pets. But, yeah, it was... Where was it? Uh, that's where I got the pet. And if we have a quick look up... Uh, sorry, it's a lot of things. I fancy another pet. Literally, 171 KC... I said, I fancy another pet. And yeah, there we go. That was it. <laughs> so I'm sorry to anyone who went dry. I went dry on it myself on the main. Uh, but yeah, such a cool pet to get. I'm so, so happy with it.
And this will be the last one for us for now, because that is 85 Hunter. Uh, did about an hour, an hour and a half here. So let's get our pet in the house and see how many herbs we came up with. I mean, it's pretty nice. It's like between 20 and, what, 70 of certain herbs. So it's definitely worth doing in between herb runs. Uh, we just need a hammer and a saw here. So let's grab them. Absolutely love the tool storage in the house. So let's grab them here. Let's upgrade this to the next one and the one up from that. And let's stick our herbivore in there. Boom. So we've got our pets in the house now. Oh, it's building mode, so that's why they're not here. Um, yeah, so let's go to Ferox and let's bag our stuff. We're going to put these bones in here that we got from a deep imp i think it was and uh, chuck this nummy light on the floor i don't think there's any reason to keep it but yeah nice bit of herb lore xp there you know there's a good like 10k maybe i don't know but it's juicy it'll do let's get ourselves a cape back did i buy it hello yeah get ourselves a cape back from there and put our secateurs back cool with all that done uh we just have a few little bits to do i think we need to go and get some compost tell me this isn't the most satisfying thing when you harvest your watermelons and you can put them in at the same time it's just it just feels so good and here we are at top uh so all we are literally going to do while these two gamers play is we're going to dodge the blood spawns uh, which is nice and easy. I did get hit a couple of times, but didn't die. And then in this room, we don't even have to go in. Uh, we just need to chill here and let the guys not bloat down. It should only take a couple of minutes per run. It's maybe five minutes per run. Uh, so let's just let them get on with it here. And with this last hit, you can run up to the chest whenever they're done. Yeah, there we go. So you'll see we have some points. We can only buy one stamina now. Jagex did change that. But we can also buy brews. So with our remaining points, we can get up to like three or four brews a raid, which is going to be pretty nice to just have stored. So we're going to get our 10 staminas and whatever points we've got left, we're going to put into brews because uh, we can make the restores. So I don't see why not. So one thing I just realized, we are going to need our super restores out of the bag um, for this pool here. We'll also need to boost for it, but that's a problem for later down the line. Um, so we need to go and die. We've got our prayer pots and, our, well, we, we're going to have our stamina very shortly. So we quickly need to go and die. Get ourselves a looting bag. And pick our stuff back up. Nice. So, with that done, we have our stamina. We need to quickly grab a saw and a hammer. Uh, I've dropped two prayer potions outside, so don't worry. Uh, saw and hammer. So, we can run over and we can make the stamina pool. Here we go. So, we can make the stamina pool. And then if we quickly just go outside... We can pick up our two prayer pots, go back in, and make the prayer one. Yeah, we can make the prayer one. So, we need to unnote 10 restores, which is great. And we need to go and buy two marble blocks. So, we'll go and do that. They are super expensive, but such a nice upgrade. So, here we are. We're just going to buy our two marble blocks costing us an absolute bomb i think they're about 300 and summit k 350k i think off the top of my head each and i was stew boosting but i realized i can just make a t so get out of the way so if we drop these balls and then how do you even make tea on this game we need a teapot cup uh i'm not wiki in it kettle on the water okay tea leaves in the no 
Yeah? Okay, tea leaves in the teapot. Kettle on the oven. Kettle boils. Teapot. Uh, okay, no, we need we need to take the kettle. Okay. Tea leaves on the kettle. Pot of tea. Use that on the cup. Drink cup of tea. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so let's quickly go and upgrade this. Oh, we need to be in build mode. One sec. Uh, build mode. Oh, my tea's gone. Upgrade. And there we go. Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. what an upgrade. So this should do our special attack, our prayer, our run, and poison. And any stat decreases. So uh, stew boosting from now on is going to be absolutely so much easier. While we're here as well, I just want to make a... Uh, what are they called? Lectern. Uh, I think it's the eagle one we're going to make. Because... I'm sick and tired. When I'm on Ancients, I hate running around. So we are going to make ourselves a load of house tabs. Yeah, glad I made the right one. I have made the wrong one a couple of times. If you didn't know, in Prif, they have soft clay rocks down here, just near the southeastern bank. Uh, so we're going to mine a load of soft clay here, teleport to the house, and make... I don't know. Uh, we're going to make maybe a thousand. A thousand should last us for a a long long time so we are gonna do that and then we want to make the next jewelry box so i think it'll be on to crafting so i'll see you then hello hello uh a few hours later we are now crafting uh we made ourselves a thousand house tabs which is going to be so nice i'm going to pop them in the looting bag soon um so crafting wise we are actually here to get i don't know what level i think we're just going to go for 70 and then boost the rest of the way but if we have a quick look in the crafting tab uh jewelry so we need 72 and 74 crafting so we can technically do it with 69 but a plus four boost is much easier to get so we are going to go to about 70 maybe higher uh, to be able to make the second jewelry box, which is fancy. Yeah, five combat bracelets and five skills necklaces. So we need to go and get the dragon stones as well. But I think with the Zolcano unlocked, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. I think it's like a one in 16 drop for between two and 10. So we might have to get a couple of drops. So not a problem at all. Coming in here to a nice chill method. I'm actually quite enjoying this. It's uh, I always imagined this would be the worst part of an ultimate Iron Man is doing charter ship crafting. But there's 68 blue dragon eyed chaps. That's going to be pretty useful for clue steps. And coming in here is 69 crafting, which is blue di eyed shields, but that's not useful. Couple more blows and we will be done with our little grind. So it only took us about four hours uh, which isn't great. It's only 40k XP an hour, but you know, it's so relaxed. So there's 70, which what does 70 give us? Uh, diamond amulets, crystal helms, and celestial signets. Nice. Can't complain with that. So, what we need to do now is we need to go to Zolcano. So, we took ourselves over to Zolcano to try to get the one in 16, one in 18, whatever it is for the dragon stones. Uh, we didn't quite get lucky, but we did manage to get a few KC under our belt. It seems to be quite sustainable. Uh, we can just get a few stews from the top of Prif and then run on down. Uh, not having run isn't great, but it's manageable. So we got a few KC here. Uh, didn't quite get lucky on any dragon stones. We got one drop, but it was one dragon stone. So not exactly too great however we did invite a new person to our clan in the middle so we had to take a, a little bit of a break and then we popped ourselves on stream and got baited pretty bad by this pop-up so yeah 25kc zolcano veteran not the pet not anything special still got me though Ended up getting another drop of dragon stones on stream. It was six, so we came looking for crystal implants and got our last two that we needed cut from a crystal implant. 
And we get our boost for our dragon bracelets, which is nice. Uh, however, now we need to go up to the wilderness to uh, charge them up. We need to go all, I think it's like 55 wilderness. So we're going to death pile, grab our bracelets and hope for the best. I completely forgot I hadn't even charged the damn things. I hadn't even enchanted them. It's not even about charging them. I hadn't made them into skills, necklaces, or combat bracelets. So we were completely buggered. And to make matters worse... You need to have completed the Legends quest to even enchant them or charge them. I had no idea. I thought that was just to do it in the Legends guild, but... Apparently not. So we went getting our looting bag back and we were very naughty because we picked everything up first and then I couldn't be bothered re-dying. So we just took everything that we owned and everything we've worked for into the wilderness. So let's get all this bag back up before we end up losing it. Uh, hopefully I won't do that again. I think most thing, the only thing I'll really risk is a weapon probably from now on because... All it takes is one TB or one freeze or something, and I could die because I've not got any food on me when I do bag. So, stupid idea. Don't do it. And I don't want to bore you with all of the quests, but we're going to quickly speed through Dragon Slayer 1 here. It should only take us about half an hour. And with that one out of the way, we finished off Hero's Quest. Uh, pretty annoying because you have to go to Entrana. But if we hand this in, we should get some nice XP. Ooh, baby, look at all that. Uh, so the next one on the list is going to be probably Family Crest. While we are already death piled so that we can go into the worldie with no issues. Where on earth is the, the trader guy? Or is it just him? Okay, it's just him. So we can get our Dragon Battle Axe from here, which is nice. Uh, but yeah, let's go and knock out Family Crest while we already have our stuff death piled. So this quest boss is mostly a joke. You just save spot it back here. Uh, the only danger is if any PKs come, but that's the quest. Nice and easy. And here is Legends Quest. Now, Legends Quest is annoying because you have to have a lot of... A lot of items in your inventory. You have to like one of each gem. You can see it at the side, but it's like one of each gem and then an earth rune, law rune, mind rune, soul rune, lock pick, pickaxe, blah, 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 blah. So you just got no room, especially considering I've got five bloody skills necklaces in my inventory. So we did have to make a few trips and it ended up taking us an hour and a half, but we got the hard task knocked out of the diary uh, for killing the death wing, is it called? So we got that done while we were there, but let's just let this play out now and I'll be back to you when we finish the quest.
Easy game, got it nice and finished. We also picked up our vanilla for recipe for disaster. Uh, we do need to die, so I reckon we're not going to be able to keep it. But let's pop all of these in prayer. Get a couple of prayer levels. Uh, prayer and one more. Prayer, there we go. 56 prayer, so pretty nice. Uh, and that's Legends Quest done. So we can enchant our skills necklaces here, do you think? Yeah, there we go. Uh, let's go and die and get our combat braces out of the bag. We have got one on our wrist, don't worry. There is five. So we're back just after suiciding and rebagging. And that is finally, finally, like it's taken an extra day and a half or so just to do this after making them and enchanting them yesterday. So we finally got our combat bracelets and our skills necklaces. So let's go get a quick boost and get our jewelry box. So, the boost we need for this one is relatively easy. I did spend a lot of money on 86. Has that literally just ticked down? That has literally just ticked down when I did that. Okay, one sec. So, apologies, I was wrong there. It didn't tick down. It, uh, we only have the plus 2T boost, I think. So, we actually spent a shit ton of money on gold leaves. And we've made the final shelf so that our cup... Has a nice gold rim around it now. Uh, so we're going to make ourselves a tea and try that again. And this should be a plus three boost. Yeah, plus three. So let's upgrade this. Second jewelry box. Oh, baby. Look at all those. Honestly, I think this is the only one you really need to make. The Amulet of Glory we have mounted. And the Ring of Wealth we can kind of get to with other means. Like fairy ring for miscellanea, Falador teleport for Falador Park. Like it's not I don't I don't see us moving up to the top one until we go for like a max house, which will be a long way down the line, but we've got so many places we can now get to. Uh the farming guild is gonna be so useful, but yeah. Very, very, very nice upgrade. Back to our favourite place in the game to make a death rune, which is a hard arty task. We're going to box out the rest of these while we've got it. And then we need to make a little bit of money to buy the shield right half. And here is a myth plate body, which is another arty hard task, a hardy task. And enter your house from your nil, another hard task. So I think we are probably going to go and... Uh, thieves some RD oh 83 magic not too sure where the last level went uh, but there is 98 thieving we've done 700k thieving XP today which is about five hours worth of foot pedaling so a nice little break from the questing and stuff we've done so far uh, yeah so uh, this is the final count the longest XP between levels so let's get it. It should only be, what, like five, six hours of foot pedaling. And a day later, here we are coming in with the last pickpocket there. So I'm going to leave it there because I want to get this on stream later on today. Unfortunately, if you're watching the video, you've missed it. Uh, we're going to use our money to buy a shield right half from here. It just cost us 750k. Uh... We might also buy a Cape of Legends because it does look like you can store a Glory with it and a Dragon Battle Axe. So I might actually go and fill that stash unit. So bought a Dragon Battle Axe and we're going to build this stash unit and fill it here to store our Glory. Nice. Uh, so we can always get a Glory back from there. I don't know whether I'm going to keep it because I do kind of want to wear my Glory because I've got some more combat stuff in mind. But for now, we can keep it there. And don't worry, we remembered to come over to West Ardy to make the shield. So if we do this, uh, yeah, there we go. Hard task in the Ardun area. So that is juicy. Um, I don't know if we'll keep it or not. I mean, we might keep it for now, but it could just be a high alk. I don't think I'm going to bother making the stash unit in Mauritania around Castle Dracan or wherever it is. Uh, our last thing now is to check the health of a palm tree. Um... And we don't have a palm tree planted, so we do need to go and do like birdhouse runs and stuff to try and get a palm tree seed. Yeah, and we've decided we are going to high alk the shield. It's just not worth keeping. It's 300k that we can use now. We can always remake it should we need to, just camp out Gorax, but I don't think we need it. Uh, but yeah, we are probably... 
I'd say we're either going to wrap up here or we might just go full force and send Recipe for Disaster. And of course, uh, I apologize that this video is super, super long, but we're going to send Recipe for Disaster. We're going to get it boxed off. We're going to finish it. So, yeah, I'll, I'll put all the mini quests and I'll start them all now and I will be right back with you when we finish each one. First one coming in with Scratch here. It gives us some nice juicy XP, but that one's out of the way. They should have definitely made this dragon into a pet, man. Like, it's so cute. Just imagine having this thing following you around. It's like, I'd rather have this than actual Valky itself. It's so cute. And if we give Yomon over here is uh, is Creme Brulee. That should be our last one. And we need oh, go straight into a cutscene. So yeah, with that done, we can now fight the final bosses. I think I'm pretty sure we've done all the quests. We should have done all the quests. We don't need to do any more. Uh, but we can fight the final ones. So our gear setup is going to be full rune and a couple of a couple of potions we've got from Warriors Guild. We should be massively over leveled for this, so I don't see us having too many issues. Uh, first boss is just a high hitter, but yeah, we hit him back pretty easily. That's the first one down. The second one is even easier. We'll just kite him around. He does also hit pretty damn hard, but as long as you've got your ice gloves on, at least you're not re-equipping your weapon. And that one's that one's down. Now this one. This one is our problem, child, because all this one does is deplete your attack and strength and defense and all your other skills, but obviously they're the only ones that matter. And that's all it does. Every time it frees you, you have to keep clicking. Anyone who's done Nightmare Zone after Recipe for Disaster knows that this is the worst, worst design boss in the game. Honest to God, there is no reason that one monster should be able to take you down to like 10 attack. Like, literally reducing you by 60 goddamn levels. So, we're going to try it a second time. Second time also doesn't go very well. It drains me down so low that I literally cannot hit. I'm on, like, one attack and one strength, and I can't hit. Third time, though, we take it back, and we manage to get it. No problem. Uh, and then the fourth and fifth, I think, we're on. They are very easy. Just Ivan's Blast and the Blast Bells. With these down, we're on two. I think the Cool Neuromancer is the last one. Yeah. And he, as everyone knows, is one of the easiest ones. He can hit pretty big. He can hit your 19s, 20s, but he doesn't hit very often. So you, you just beat him out. It's the easiest one out of the lot of them. So let's finish this off and finish off Recipe for Did he just hit me a 20 on the way out? Little shit. So, yeah, let's let him explode. Ooh, a milkshake. Uh, I kind of want that cake, though. Cake. No, as if it doesn't let you take the cake. Uh, but yeah, there, there's Recipe for Disaster done. We should have been monstrously overleveled for it, but it's finally done. We can finally get our Barrow's gloves on the account. Let's just eat back up, just in case. Use our lamp. Let's clean these up. Don't need that. Yeah, let's use our lamp. We're going to put it on prayer. I'm sorry to everyone who's crying in Herbal XP, but we need the prayer XP. Uh, once I hit 70 prayer, I'll never use it on prayer again, I promise you. But let's go and get our gloves. How much? 130k? No problem. Boom. So we're pretty much pretty much set now for, uh, for Slayer, really, with our obsidian. We might have a couple more quests to get. We need to go get Proselyte, but that is such a nice upgrade. Our house is looking better and everything, so we've made some gains. Anyway, if you have gotten this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to come and join our CC in game. Just go into the green smiley faces in your clan tab and type in MVPs with a Z and come and give us a join. As always, I will be live after this video goes live, twitch.tv forward slash UIMVP. Um, yeah, come and, come and send me a message in game. Let me know what you're up to. Let me know you watch the videos and whether you're enjoying them being a little bit longer, a little bit shorter, what you like, any suggestions. I'd love to hear your feedback. Uh, we'll be getting at 99 next episode, 99 Thieving, that is. We've got our Barrow's Gloves this episode. We've knocked out a crap ton of quests. Uh, and we are up to 90 combat now. I don't remember what we were last time. We could have also been 90. 
Uh, but we're going to start working on a little bit of Slayer, I think. Uh, we really want to get that up to 75 uh, for our first stint of Slayer. But that'll help us get our stats up for Corrupt Gauntlet, because I still want to bang that out. Um, but yeah, we're 17, 23 total at the minute. We're slowly getting up there. So thank you so, so much for watching. Whatever you're doing, have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next one next week. Bye.